Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna walk you through my kind of everyday makeup routine. This is definitely a little bit more elevated than like a true no makeup makeup look. I've got mascara, we've got some bronzer, some blush, like we've got quite a few products on the face, but it's very fresh. It's, it's still pretty minimal and I don't have a ton of makeup on the skin and I'm not wearing foundation. So this is definitely just a go-to look of mine. It's what I keep in my makeup bag. All these products are going to be products that you've seen me talk about and use over and over and over again, but I figured for the new year I would share with you what I'm putting on my face on a regular basis when I'm not filming, when I'm just out and about. And on top of that, I, I figured I would go and share with y'all my thoughts on the new Vita Liberata Beauty Blur. Yeah, Beauty Blur. I've loved this for years. This is the original. So I'll share with you what I think about the new one, if I think it's the same or not. So um, we'll kind of talk through that as well. A lot of y'all been asking me if they are in fact the same. So I'll give you my opinions on that. But make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack. You can grab your makeup if you'd like to, if you're getting ready for work or for school, whatever you're doing today, grab your makeup. You can sit down and do your makeup with me and let's go and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm first going to prep my lips and I'm just gonna use my In Beauty face, uh, face glaze, oh my gosh, lip oil. This is the Candy Apple. I just have my Ula Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer, the Naturium Vitamin C, and I'm testing out a new SPF, so that's all that I have on my skin. And from day to day, I actually don't wear foundation. Um, so I thought I would show you how I do my Vita Librata. Now, I wanted to share with y'all the new repackaging of the Vita Librata Beauty Blur because this is what the original packaging looks like, which is the one that I've used for years. Um, but they have now since changed the packaging. And I've been wearing this for the past couple weeks. I have not noticed a difference in formulation. I've heard different things about the uh, formulation, this being a new formulation, but just from wearing it, my own experience, I don't see a difference at all between the two. So that is great. That makes me feel very happy because I was a little nervous that they had changed the formula because I love this product so much. And it's a really great product if you want to kind of even out the skin, but you don't want to wear a foundation, which is what I like to do from day to day. So I wear this in the shade medium. I still have a little bit left of this one, but just to show y'all what the new one looks like, I'll go and use that one today, but I'm still using up my old one. And I keep all of my everyday makeup in this cushy bag. I will link this down below. It is my favorite makeup bag. It's so amazing. It unzips on both sides so that you can just lay all of your makeup out on your table and then you have the option of buying it with a brush roll. So I keep all of my just everyday favorite brushes in this brush roll and that way if I'm getting ready in a different room or traveling for whatever reason, I can just grab this whole bag and it's got everything I need. So I use the Vita Librata in the shade medium. So this is what the uh, packaging looks like. It's very different than the original. The original had a pump. They have now switched it over to the, uh, the big doe foot that seems to be very popular these days, very much like the Charlotte Tilbury or the e.l.f. Halo Glow, what is that called? Per filter, whatever. They all have the big doe foot, so they kind of jumped on board with that. Um, this is very different than the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's not as metallic, like it's not like a highlighter. This I can apply all over my face and I don't feel like it looks metallic or foiled on my skin. Like it really just looks like a filter all over my skin, evens it out, gives it a little hint of warmth or color just to kind of bring the skin to life. So you can of course blend it in with your fingertips or a sponge. My favorite way to blend this in is actually with this little tiny brush from Veil Cosmetics. Um, I will link this below, but I love this brush. I like that it's nice and compact and it's just the perfect size and density to 
blend out a product like this so I'm just gonna buff this all over the face it looks quite dark when it's really concentrated on the skin but once you blend it out um, it shears out a lot all right so that's one really light layer of the Vita Labrada Beauty Blur I just love this even if I'm wearing no other makeup I just want to throw a little bit of something on my face this is so perfect it's just it's the perfect everyday complexion product that really just makes your skin look incredible so I cannot recommend this enough I love it I actually don't mind the new packaging because then you can just like swipe it on you don't have to use your fingers um, but yeah it's from what I can tell it is the same product as the original one of my favorite concealers this was in my yearly favorites video is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is just a really great, it, it kind of works in a lot of different ways. It's really great for no makeup makeup days, but then it's also really great if you need coverage and you want to go, if you, one, need the coverage or if you want to do a more glam look. So I just really like this. It wears well. It's just dependable. Um, so I use this in the shade NC35. I'm just going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I just take my finger and apply it where needed. And just depending on the day, I will add steps, remove steps. But for days when I do want just a little bit more coverage, I love this concealer. It's so nice. It's very natural looking, but it definitely packs a punch and you do get that coverage. So you don't, it's not just like, layering on another product just because it actually is very practical does what it is supposed to do and i just use that same brush i also really like the real techniques expert face brush that's one of my favorites and i like that it's more of a natural finish it's not matte it's not dewy it's like a nice in between so just depending on your skin type you know you either set it or you don't have to some days I'll set it, some days I won't. It just kind of depends on the day and what I'm doing. And then I'll also just sweep a little bit of concealer over my eyelids just to take down the redness, kind of cover up any veining. All right, so that is it for just like an everyday coverage. Vita Labrata, a little bit of concealer. Sometimes I won't do concealer. Again, it just kind of depends on the day, what my plans are, what I'm doing. This is definitely like an everyday thing. And then just depending on if I want more coverage, I'll add a little bit of this. But this is the basically everyday face. So I am going to set this down with a little bit of powder because I am going to be wearing this makeup for the remainder of the day. And I want it to... I don't want to get too shiny throughout the day so I'm going to take my favorite makeup forever ultra HD press powder I've just hit pan on this it is my absolute favorite because it sets your face down without looking heavy or powdery or makeup-y even if you just have an oilier skin type and you just want to lightly set your bare skin even if you're not wearing foundation or concealer or anything just taking a tiny bit of this powder on the areas where you get shiny oh my gosh it makes the world of a difference and it just looks so nice on the skin now again depending on the day we'll kind of determine what other complexion products i use the three products that i always have in my makeup bag these are actually the only like color complexion products that i have are bare minerals bronzer and kiss of copper always this is my favorite favorite powder blush and i always have it on hand if i want a cream blush that day the tower 28 uh, beach please cream blush in power hour is my absolute favorite it's long wearing it looks beautiful on the skin it's not oily or greasy at all which i love and then for bronzer i have my makeup by mario soft sculpt bronzer and i don't wear bronzer most days i usually will just opt for a little bit of blush but if i do want a little bit of bronzer or just some more definition to the face this is my favorite favorite bronzer of the moment so i am gonna take just a little bit of this um, i'm gonna take it on my lima pure soft focus brush this is my favorite bronzer brush and i just take a tiny bit just right on the backs of the cheeks and then 
right along the forehead. I have a pretty big forehead. I find that this bronzer works really great for everyday makeup looks. It also works great for glam, full coverage looks. So I can really use this bronzer no matter what I'm getting ready for. I can really sculpt the nose, my lips, the chin, my jaw, my cheeks. Like I can really go in with this bronzer and get a really nice flawless sculpted look. But then it's also really great just for an everyday light wash of warmth on the skin so yeah i just i really really love this i also keep the makeup by mario soft sculpt shaping stick in my makeup bag for days when i want to do cream bronzer but yeah those are just my two absolute favorites but we're just gonna do a little powder bronzer and then for today i'm gonna use my tower 28 oh, if i can open it uh beach please cream blush and I love using this blush with the BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy A507. This is my favorite brush to use with this. So this is what the blush looks like. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's like a, a deep, dusty rose. I don't know. There's just something so unique about this color. So I dip my brush and then I wipe off the excess on the lid. And then just tap it on the cheeks and blend it backwards, kind of right around the outer corner of my eye. I really like to drape my blush around my eye. Always take some on my nose and then a little on my forehead. And I do keep my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in my makeup bag just for those days when I do want a little bit more juice, more glow, but with that cream blush, I just find that I don't need any other shininess on my face so i'm going to skip this today but this is something that i do like to keep in my makeup bag and then something else i like to keep in my makeup bag is my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray i'm not going to use this today i just find that i don't need it but this is my favorite setting spray of the moment it just fixes everything if your makeup is just looking powdery or dry or just not as blended as you would like spray this over your face it literally fixes your whole face like it's a really incredible setting spray i really really like that one all right so i'm gonna go and do my brows to start them off i'm gonna take my favorite nyx brow glue i wear this every single day even when i'm not doing makeup i wear this to the gym it's so good i like that it's clear and it really holds your brow hairs in place I've had the Anastasia Brow Freeze, the Refi Brow Sculpt, the e.l.f. Brow Lift. I've used all of those and this is, I mean, I think this is my favorite. The Anastasia Brow Freeze is really good, but just for the price, you can't beat this. Like, this is just, just as good. So, I always like to run a clean spoolie just to make sure I evenly disperse the gel. And then I'm going to go in with my NYX Brow Pen just to... Fill in any gaps and sometimes I'll even use my brow pen for freckles as well if I just want to keep it really quick and minimal and that is it for the brows that's all I do and then I'm just going to curl my lashes now I don't always wear mascara most days I don't just because I like to give my lashes a break Throughout the week, just with filming, I'm putting on a lot of mascara, taking it off, putting it on. So just in my everyday life, I actually like to just skip mascara altogether. But for today, I'll show y'all um, the mascaras that I like to keep in my bag. So I keep the Tower 28 mascara in my makeup bag. And then I also love this Maybelline Sky High mascara in True Brown because... It is brown. Um, if Tower 28 had a brown mascara, I would use that one instead. But I really like this formula. Alright, so I'm just going to remove a little bit of excess lip balm. And then I'm actually just going to take my Tower 28 blush. A little bit of that with my finger. Uh, some days I'll just do my... Um, where did it go? Oh, my In Beauty lip oil. Um, I really love the Hurrah tinted lip balms. These are really great as well. And then sometimes I'll just take my cream blush 
And then, of course, my Tower 28 work of art lip pencil, which I think I'm going to use a little bit today. And then one last thing I like to do sometimes is take a uh, eye pencil. This is Barbarella Brown from Charlotte Tilbury. And I like to tight line my upper waterline just to make my lash line look a lot thicker. And that is it for the makeup. This is my everyday elevated makeup. Like I said, just depending on the day, I kind of add steps, remove steps. Maybe I'll skip bronzer, skip concealer, skip blush, skip highlight. It just depends on the day and how I'm feeling, what I'm doing that day. I love that all these makeup products are very versatile and I can create really full coverage glam looks with all of these or I can go more minimal and just do like an everyday kind of effortless look. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as always. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.